Before we get into this video, I want to go ahead and put a very clear disclaimer at the beginning for anyone who may be new to this channel. This video is either an update for my Pan That palette, which heavily features a Jeffree Star Cosmetics palette, or it is a video in which I am using products from companies I no longer support. There's been a lot of long overdue drama happening in the beauty community along with the supposed cancellation of Jeffree Star and Shane Dawson. I did a live stream where I really put together all of my thoughts on kind of the most recent drama, though probably most of it is out of date. I'll throw it up in the cards if you want to hear my full long drawn out thoughts. But at the end of the day, I do not support Shane Dawson, I do not support Jeffree Star, and I don't support quite a few makeup brands at this point. Back when I did buy these products, I was interested in the makeup and I was trying my best to do what a lot of other creators can do, which is separate the art from the artist. I did my best to do that, but then I realized that I recognized a line and that once uh, a company or a creator or a person or a celebrity crossed that line, I could not support it and I couldn't separate the makeup from the company or the makeup from the owner or the art from the artist. and. It took a lot of reflection to get to that point. I reached that conclusion and I realized I had to apply that across the board. I couldn't pick and choose which celebrities, which influencers I was going to support and not support based on their actions and then their company's actions. So I had to apply that across the board. So as of now, I currently own quite a few Jeffree Star Cosmetics uh, makeup products. I also have a few from other brands I no longer support, but that's basically the gist of this. And I don't want to advocate throwing away products that you've already bought, you've already spent the money. I want to advocate reflecting on your own actions and reflecting on how you move forward. So I advocate for using up uh, products from problematic people, problematic brands, using them up and then decluttering them and never purchasing from the brand again. I've seen a lot of people immediately take down their past support videos for these brands. I'm keeping mine up, not because I'm like making a lot of money on them. I usually make less than a dollar a video, but I want to leave them up so that you have a clear picture of where I came from. Because I did start out as someone who did their best to separate art from the artist so that I could enjoy makeup, which is a terribly shallow and horrible thing to do. Like we, these people, of which I used to be one of them, would excuse all of these behaviors or try to ignore these behaviors in order to what? In order to what? enjoy some YouTube videos, in order to have some pretty makeup. It's not like we have a shortage of makeup here, right? We have anti hauls and we have B-Wows that tell us there's so much makeup coming out every day. So that's what I advocate for. So I just want to go ahead and put this in the beginning of any video moving forward. If it's a Pan That Palette update or if it's any other video where I heavily feature um, a product from one of those brands. Um, I'm, I'm sorry if this gets repetitive, but I do want to make that very loud and clear, especially in light of recent events. So with that out of the way, let's jump into the video. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today we are doing my next update for my 2020 Pan That Palette, the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Blood Sugar Palette. If you missed my last update for this series, I'll throw it up in the cards, but I've, I don't know, I made a little bit of progress. I actually re-kind of did a little bit of the blushes that I frankened in the last update or the update before it, and I've been using the shades that are left over in the palette, and I think I'm like doing all right. I hit a little bit of like kind of a boring rump but then I started bringing in some other um liquid shadows to play with so I actually had a lot of fun in this month so let's just go ahead and jump straight into the slideshow of what my palette has looked like up until this point.
and this is my palette now so as you can see i've been using up quite a bit of this black franken shadow i really love using this for my brows every day and then this shadow that i had repressed is actually almost gone so i think um i've been using this mainly as a transition so i think if i keep using this this will probably be gone along with this shade i've been using these two as transitions mainly and you can see i did wear them as my main transition today um so I'm using both of those up. I also used a good amount of this shadow in um, a blush. Uh, this one I haven't really been reaching for as much because this looked a lot prettier with like the purpley shadows which are mainly gone <laughs> at this point. Um, these shadows I've mainly been using um, in just the same red looks as you can see today. I'm wearing a combination of these two as like my deepening kind of crease shade right up here and then I used this dark shade right here to really deepen up out here. And then all over my lid I have a Natasha Denona Chromium liquid shadow. I've been loving these so much. So they've actually been what are um, inspiring me to play with these red shades again because I got so bored with like just the same kind of red look over and over and over again so anyway those are mainly the ones i've been using i have completely neglected all of these neutral shades right here so i was actually thinking i know by the end of this year if i don't finish this palette what i really want to do is franken the rest of the shades into i don't know if it's going to be a full blush palette or maybe i don't know if i can make a bronzer or a contour out of those neutral shades i'm debating it and i don't know if i want to like keep using this palette as much as i can now and then do that franken later or if i should just go ahead and franken the rest of the palette into like a face palette instead because i've really been enjoying these blushes um so i repressed the purple shade with a little bit more purple powder it did crack a little bit but it's been working for me just fine and what i did is i actually just ordered vegetable glycerin on amazon i heard that that's supposed to be a really good um bonding agent for powders so i'm gonna try and repress this with the glycerin once that comes in but i've been loving these shades like i basically i made my own like perfect go-to blush palette and i've just really been enjoying it so that's why I'm like really, really leaning towards maybe I should just go ahead and franken the rest of my palette. But then it would be a little bit harder, I guess, to track progress in the more traditional of here's my palette, here's what it looks like kind of sense, you know? So I don't know. I'm torn. I don't know if I want to do that just yet. Um, yeah, I don't know. I feel like I can definitely finish these two shadows up before I do that. I don't know if I want to be anywhere near finishing up these because I feel like I was so bored with like the neutral looks that I, I hit pan and I was kind of done with them, you know? <sighs> so I don't know. I feel like I'm still making good progress. I really, really like my blush shades. I don't think I'm really gonna finish these up anytime soon because I added a lot of extra powder in there to really get them the way that I wanted and the rest of these are pressed with the exception of the purple are pressed very well and I just I really like my little blush palette so that's me on the fence about whether or not I want to franken the rest of the palette. I think I, I kind of just want to keep the palette the rest of it at least intact until the end of this project because then instead of like just decluttering what's left i want to franken what's left in order to get rid of the packaging and then just keep my own personalized like face palette at the end so yeah that's about it i was kind of hoping i'd be a little bit further along with that black shadow because if this gets finished up i'll probably mix in a black shade of this shade and franken that one up um, but it's, it's, it's a lot of powder in here and it lasts a long time and I'm using it every day. So the shadow I have been using every day and there's only a little bit of pan on the edges right over there, but yeah. So that's kind of where I am and kind of where like my goals are heading, at least short term goals. So a nice kind of short and sweet update to the point. Let me know if you guys are doing a pan that palette, how your progress is going and what your goals are. And we're already in September. <sighs> I mean, my original goal is kind of, it's harder to actually like quantify now because I wanted to hit pan in every shade. I think I've basically, I mean, in the pans that I have left, the only two that I haven't actually hit pan in are these two. So, I mean, at this point, I don't think it makes a lot of sense to have like set goals. It's more, or set goals as in I want to use up X amount of shadow. I think at this point now it's more get the creative juices flowing, see what other palettes I can bring in to use with this, see what other single shadows I can bring in to use with this palette, and then really get an eye for what I want to be left with at the end of this project. And if I really want to just go ahead and franken the rest of these, because I might just do that. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching, and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye.